Hey guys, Scotty here coming here with another video guys. Uh, I wanted to come today guys and talk about this eclipse. I saw a video last night guys and it blew my mind because I mean I knew some things about the eclipse already but I didn't know all of this stuff. And so I'm going to show you some of it right here guys from this video. Guys, I truly believe after watching this video, I'm going to put it below in the comments. And guys, I'm telling you, this is a 30 minute video. I highly recommend you watch this video because this video has so much information in it. And I feel like to me, it has proved to me that this is the sign of Jonah in the Bible that the Lord talks about when he says there'll be one sign given for this adulterous generation that everything's coming to an end. And... I think this is that sign based on this video because there are so many things in this video that are connections that it is like it's just insane guys like when you watch this video you see all of the connections with this eclipse and I'm sure there's more people that are finding even more things but when you see these things and how they all relate to Jonah and, Jonah and his time and all this stuff it starts making sense and I truly believe after watching this guys this could be a 40-day warning like what it's talking about because that's exactly what Jonah did. He went to Nineveh and he said, guys, repent, and they had 40 days. And um, it's very interesting, guys. Just this, this whole video really put in perspective to me how important this eclipse is. And I mean, if, th if that's true and this is a 40-day warning, that would mean on April 8th, if that does happen, and tons of people look at it, that would go to May 18th. So, to me, guys, that means we have a definite window right now that we're looking at. And to me, it's between now and May 18th. And I really believe, after watching this video, that this is going to be a 40-day warning, and it's the sign of Jonah. But, I mean, guys, it's just amazing. When you watch that and you see all of that information and all of these things, it's just you start realizing that this is a very important event that's about to happen and i mean that's not that long from now guys even if we had to wait that long or even if um everything's leading up to a specific day i mean that's really not that far away i mean days go by like this guys right now i mean sometimes weeks go by like this right now because of how fast everything's going so I just wanted to come show you guys some of this stuff and tell you to watch this video, guys. I'm telling you, this video is very well made. Even if you don't like some of the pastors or this channel or whatever, I'm telling you just to go watch and see this information that they laid out because it is very good. And um, if you don't know Jesus, guys, this video is going to show you how to do that. And guys, I really hope that a lot of you right now are putting your faith in Jesus because there's so much going on as proving that the end is here and it is coming quickly. So um, I just want to say that, guys, this video is going to show you how to do that. And I really recommend you do that sooner than later. Jesus suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped. A crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus 
was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 